me, not from your little old brother. I'm retired. You can save this thing for me, Austin. I mean, I'll give you half the money. I would. I'll need half anyway. That kind of money, I could be a long time down the road. I'd never bother you again. I promise. You would never see me again. You'd disappear? I would for sure. <laughs> Where would you disappear to? Well, that don't matter. I mean, I got plenty of places. Nobody can disappear. The old man tried that, and look where it got him. He lost his teeth. <laughs> but he was having the money. I don't mean that. I mean his teeth. His real teeth. <laughs> never knew that, did you? <laughs> he never confided in you. I uh, never knew that.
in the neighborhood this morning. <laughs> many, many unhappy, bewildered breakfast faces. I guess it's best not to even think of the victims, not to even entertain it. Is that the right psychology? What? Is that the correct criminal psychology, not to think of the victim? What victims? The victims of crime, of breaking and entering. I mean, is it a prerequisite for a criminal not to have a conscience? Ask a criminal. Huh. Well, he, what, he didn't do all these toasters anyway. <laughs> I mean, that is got to be the dumbest thing I ever saw in my life. I have hundreds of dollars worth of household appliances here. <laughs> you may not realize that. And how many hundreds of dollars did you pass right up? It was toasters you challenged me to. Only toasters. I ignored every other temptation. I never challenged you. That's no challenge. Anybody can steal a toaster. Well, you don't have to take it out on my typewriter, you know. It's not the machine's fault you can't write. <laughs> it's a sin to do that to a good machine. A sin? When you consider all the writers who never even had a machine, who would have given an eyeball for a good typewriter? Any typewriter. All the ones who had to write on paper bags, on matchbook covers, toilet paper, <laughs> who had their writing destroyed by their jailers, who persisted beyond all odds. Those writers would find it hard to understand your actions. Not to mention demolishing a perfectly good golf club. What about all the struggling golfers? What about Lee Trevino? What do you think he would have said when he was batting balls around with broomsticks at the age of nine? Impoverished. What time is it anyway? No idea. Time stands still when you're having fun. <laughs> hey, is it too late to call a woman? <laughs> <laughs> you getting no pretty women? Uh -huh. I'm a married man. I, I mean a local woman. <laughs> uh, it's either too late or too early. Well, you're of a nature enthusiast. Can't you tell the time by the light in the sky? Orient yourself around the North Star or something? Uh, <laughs> I can't tell anything. Maybe you need a little breakfast. Some toast. How about some toast? <laughs> I don't want any toast. I want a woman. A woman isn't the answer. Never was. I'm not talking about permanent. I'm talking about temporary. <laughs> we'll just test the merits of these little demons. See which brands have a tendency to burn. See which ones can produce a perfectly Golden piece of fluffy toast. Leo, you know, how much gas you got in your car? I haven't driven my car for days now, so I haven't had an opportunity to check the gas. Yeah, gate. just take a guess, will you? Is there enough gas to get me to Bakersfield? Bakersfield? What's in Bakersfield? Never mind what's in Bakersfield. Think there's enough damn gas to get me there? Sure. Sure. You could care less, right? <laughs> run out of gas, me run out of gas on the grapevine. You could give a shit. I'd say there was enough gas to get you just about anywhere, Lee. With your determination and guts. Hey, what the hell time is it anyway? Oh, it's very early. This is the time of morning when the coyotes kill people's copper spaniels. <laughs> Did you hear them out there? That's what they were doing, luring innocent pets away from their homes. Hey, do you know the uh, area code Bakersfield, huh? You know that? You can always call the operator. Oh, I, I no, I don't like that voice they give you. What voice? Oh, you know. It kind of says, uh, if you'd only try harder to find the phone number to begin with, you wouldn't have to be calling the operator to begin with. Well, I don't understand why you'd want to talk to anybody else anyway. 
I mean, you can talk to me. I'm your brother. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to a woman. with you, Lee. 
What? What if I come with you out to the desert? Well, are you, what, are you kidding? No, i just like to see what it's like. You wouldn't last a day out there, pal. That's what you said about the toasters. You said <laughs> I couldn't steal a toaster either. Uh, uh, a toaster has got nothing to do with the desert. I could make it, Lee. I'm not that helpless. I can cook. <laughs> cook? I can. So what? You can cook. <laughs> Toast. I can make fires. I know how to get fresh water from condensation. <laughs> this isn't something you learn in a Boy Scout handbook. Well, how do you learn it then? How are you supposed to learn it? You just learn it, that's all. You learn it because you have to learn it. You don't have to learn it. You could teach me. Hey! Are you crazy or something, huh? Hey, look, you went to college. <laughs> Here you are, rolling in the box, floating up and down in elevators. And you want to go live on the desert? I do, Lee. I really do. There's nothing for me down here. There never was. When we were kids here, it was different. There was a light here then. But now, I keep finding myself coming down here thinking it's the 50s or something. I keep finding myself getting off the freeway at familiar landmarks that turn out to be unfamiliar. On the way to appointments. Wandering down streets I thought I recognized that turned out to be replicas of streets I remember. Streets I misremember. Streets I can't tell if I lived on or saw on a postcard. Fields that don't even exist anymore. Well, there's no use crying about <laughs> that now. There's nothing real down here, Lee. Least of all me. I can't save you from that. You can let me come with you. <coughs> oh, no dice, pal. You can let me come with you, Lee. Hey! Choose to live out in the middle of nowhere, huh? Do you? You think that it's some philosophical decision I made or something? Hey, look, I'm living out there because I can't make it here. And here you are, bitching about all of your success. I'd cash it all in in a second. That's the truth. Oh, I don't believe this. Let me come with you. Stop that, will you? You're worse than a dog. Tell you what I'll do, little brother. I'll consider making you a deal. A little trade. You can write this screenplay thing up for me, just like I tell you. You can use all your tricks and stuff, all your fancy language and your artistic focus focus. But you're gonna do it the way I tell you. Every move. Every time they run out of gas, they run out of gas. Every time they want to jump on a horse, they do just that. If they want to stay in Texas, woo! By God, they'll stay in Texas. When you do that for me, you finish it up, top to bottom. My name goes on it, and every right goes to me, and every dime goes in my pocket. You do that, and I'll sure enough take you out to the desert with me. <laughs> How's that sound? It's a deal.